Today we're going to learn how to fix the hash value error in Excel. Click on the link below to get a printable PDF of all of the solutions covered in this video. To start, it's important to understand that the value error occurs when you combine text or strings with numerical operators. So for our examples, I'm going to walk through this spreadsheet um, of products and cost. So in the first cell, you'll see that we're getting a value error with our current formula. The existing formula calculates the total revenue by adding the base revenue to the upgrade revenue. In this instance, the product has no upgrade revenue, so the formula is trying to add 500 to the string NA. And in Excel, you can't add a string or text to a number and thus you're getting a value error. So in this instance, instead of using the plus sign, you can replace that with the Excel formula sum. So equal sum, this column, this cell, and this cell, close, enter. And so the sum formula recognizes the text and simply ignores it. So by replacing your numerical sum operator with an Excel formula, that's gonna eliminate your value error. Uh, moving down to our next example, uh, we're using a multiplication operator to multiply cost times quantity to get a total cost. And um, it's th while the quantity cell looks blank, um, there's actually a single space in there. So if you double click, there's a single space. So Excel treats that single space like a text or a string and is thus returning a value error. So the first way you can fix this is by simply clicking in, deleting that space, and that'll get rid of your value error. Now, if you have a lot of different formulas with spaces in them, that's a little bit cumbersome. So what, what I would recommend using is the product formula instead of the multiplication operator. The product formula works very similar to the sum formula, so we're gonna say equals product. We're gonna highlight these two cells, close parentheses, enter, and so the product formula is gonna ignore that text in the quantity column and return a value rather than a hash value error. So in our third example, we're going to look at a more advanced concept called an array formula. So in this cell, you'll find an array formula that's getting a value error. And an array formula calculates a value that would be similar to multiplying cost times quantity, cost times quantity, cost times quantity, and then adding up all of those values um, for each of these products. That's essentially what an array formula would be doing. And array formulas require this extra step to close them out. Rather than typing enter after an array formula, you have to type control shift enter. So when I type control shift enter, the formula recognizes that's an array. It, equal, it enters these brackets at the end of your formula and it calculates a value. So that's how you fix the hash value error in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up and head over to howtoanalyst.com for more tips and tricks like this.